As you can see, we've got the gimbal arm right here. It is just completely distracting our footage or just ruining it. So the best way to get rid of it is you want to move your gimbal and uh, hold it in a flashlight way manner. As you can see, it is completely gone. You could also use the joystick to move the gimbal up and down. That's the other method to uh, eliminate the gimbal arm. So just keep going until it is completely gone and hold the gimbal in a flashlight position. So there you have it. That is the solution to get rid of the gimbal arm. So now let's go for a little walk here just to show you guys how the stabilization is like using the DJI Osmo Mobile with the Galaxy S10 Plus. So we could even go low on the ground here, get that ground shot, which is always nice to have. All right, and we could go for the sidewalk shot here. Just change the camera angle. Try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time away. Okay, you could also use this as a vlogging vlogging setup. So just turn it around. And there you go. So that is what it looks like if you want to use this as a vlogging set up let's see if i run and see what happened let's go for a little run here see what it looks like All right. So there you have it guys. Um, that was my quick tip or advice for how to use the S10 Plus ultra wide angle with the DJI Osmo Mobile. Um, like I said, I did a video on this and I was complaining about it and um, we have a solution so if you want to enjoy the ultra wide angle just hold the gimbal in a flashlight way manner <laughs> <laughs>